What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, this evening marks the date. Finally, the long awaited, undisputed heavyweight showdown. Tonight, we'll have a heavyweight crowned undisputed for the first time in years since Lennox Lewis was the heavyweight world champion. Now, we have a four major sanction belt undisputed heavyweight world champion on the line tonight between undefeated, lineal, two-time heavyweight world champion, former unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Tyson the Gypsy King, Fury, as he takes on Olympic gold medalist, two division world champion, former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Oleksandr Usyk. Now, they had the, well, the weigh-in yesterday. Oleksandr Usyk weighed in at 233 pounds, right? That's the heaviest he's been in his entire career. Why did Oleksandr Usyk weigh in so much? Because he's dealing with such a big guy. He's six foot three with a 78 inch army, Oleksandr Usyk is, right? And Oleksandr Usyk is a cruiserweight turned heavyweight. Now, he did beat Anthony Joshua twice, some big wins in his career, but he's showing vulnerabilities. Tyson Fury is six foot nine with an 85 inch arm reach and he weighed 262 pounds. Now keep this in mind, Tyson Fury and Usyk, they weighed in with their clothes on. Now I don't know if they pre-weighed in without their clothes on and what we saw was just a uh, show theatrics, right, entertainment. Um, and he weighed 207, 262 pounds is what Tyson Fury weighed, right? Usyk weighed 233 pounds. So Fury is 30 pounds heavier than Oleksandr Usyk, right? 30 pounds heavier than Oleksandr Usyk. Now, he is also five inches taller than Oleksandr Usyk, and he has a seven inch arm reach advantage. But more importantly, Tyson Fury, he knows how to use that height and that weight. That's what's so important here, right? He's not just a big guy, but he's a big guy that knows how to use his height, knows how to use his weight, knows how to use his arm reach, right? And that's going to come into play. Now, Usyk is a southpaw, and Tyson Fury in the past has had trouble with southpaws, but Tyson Fury has a tendency to fight to the level of his competition. So when he fought against Otto Wallin and, uh, you know, Tom Swartz, you know, those guys, he fights to the level of his competition. When he fought against Francis Ngannou, Francis Ngannou switched to Southpaw and he dropped Tyson Fury. He was a UFC fighter that has power. Again, Tyson Fury fights to the level of his competition, right? Tyson Fury tonight is going to rise to the level of his competition, and he knows this is a mega fight. So, when he fought Deontay Wilder, he rose to the level of his competition against Deontay Wilder. When he fought against um, uh, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, he rose to the level of his competition. And tonight won't be any different, right? Uh, size will prove to be a major factor in tonight's fight. Tyson Fury, who is 34 wins, no losses, one draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. He's just simply too big for Oleksandr Usyk, who's not a big puncher. He's 21 wins, no loss, no draw, 14 wins by way of knockout, and he's 37 years of age, okay? So he's up there in age. He's a slick southpaw that can box, that has respectable power, right? He's very precise, very accurate, but again, he does not have a lot of power. And if Tyson Fury doesn't respect your power and you can't keep him off you, He's gonna make the fight very physical. He's gonna make the fight very ugly. Uh, he's gonna wear down Usyk. He's gonna lay on Usyk. Um, and he, again, Tyson Fury typically comes in 270 pounds. Coming in at 260 pounds, he's definitely uh, more slim than he's uh, uh, 
you know, um, than we're accustomed to him being. Uh, and so with that said, Tyson Fury did that for what? To be able to be more agile in the ring, to be able to catch up to Alexander Usyk, right? Um, because Usyk is a, is a mover with light feet. So my fight prediction is that Tyson Fury will beat Alexander Usyk and he might even stop Alexander Usyk tonight, right? I think that Tyson Fury for sure will uh, 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 drop Alexander Usyk in this fight. You know, uh, I definitely see him dropping Alexander Usyk in this fight. Um, and he's going to hurt him. <clears throat> he's just too big, uh, too aggressive, and he's crafty. So I got Tyson Fury winning a unanimous decision over Alexander Usyk tonight and dropping Alexander Usyk and becoming the undisputed heavyweight champion. And then Tyson Fury has to uh, rematch Alexander Usyk. They'll have a rematch in the fall. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, but Tyson Fury will give Alexander Usyk his first loss tonight via unanimous decision and dropping him in the fight. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.